Congressman Darren LaHood of the House Ways and Means Committee. He's also a former federal prosecutor. Congressman, just breaking moments ago from the Free Beacon, photos place Hunter Biden at his dad's house the day he invoked Joe's name to that Chinese business partner. Your response? Well, Laura, I think you laid out well uh, in your opening there um, the intentional effort by DOJ to protect Hunter Biden. And if people want evidence on that, they ought to read these transcripts. I would tell your viewers, go online tonight. They're online. These are top IRS investigators that have been on this case for five-plus years. They have uh, been, um, at every level, uh, told to stand down by the Department of Justice. And if you read there, the, the level of criminality that is alleged by these whistleblowers is mind-blowing. And, and by the way, these aren't Republicans saying this. These are whistleblowers at the highest level involved that did this. And let's remember what happened here. Eight million dollars Hunter Biden got from Ukraine, China and Romania. Didn't pay taxes on it. And then all of a sudden there's this rush to do a plea agreement when we're going to have the transcripts uh, revealed today. They wanted that plea agreement out. They wanted that out before these transcripts were out, correct? A absolutely. Uh, they've been working on this for five and a half years, and slow suddenly, walking it. Suddenly on Monday morning, when it gets announced that we're going to release those today, that happens. There's no coincidence in that, Laura, what happened. And so to your point earlier, the, set, the, the acceptance of the plea will happen on July 26 in Wilmington, Delaware, by the federal judge. That judge has the opportunity uh, through the discretion of that judge to not accept this plea What are agreement. the grounds for rejecting a plea deal usually? It's, it's unusual it for a judge unusual. to reject a plea deal. It's obviously fraud in the inducement if someone was fraudulently induced to make the plea deal. I know that's one grounds. What grounds do you think here would apply? I think if you read what's alleged by these whistleblowers that I don't think was before the DOJ or the... Um, or Weiss when he entered into this agreement. I think any judge that looks at that and then looks at the conduct that's in here, this is a slap on the wrist. I, I think about my constituents, Laura. If they didn't pay taxes on $8 million oh. um, and, and, had, uh, all, and, and was involved with Russia and Ukraine and Romania, it wouldn't be a misdemeanor. So it's hard to believe that an expungible gun charge and two misdemeanors is what Hunter Biden gets. It's an intentional protection by the DOJ. Now, I want to remind everyone what Merrick Garland said under oath. This was back in March. Watch this. Uh, the, the, the U.S. attorney in Delaware has been uh, advised that he has full authority to bring cases in other jurisdictions. He is not to be denied uh, anything that he needs. I have pledged not to interfere uh, with that investigation, and I uh, have carried through on my pledge. But the whistleblower revealed that this was not true. He says that on October 7th, 2022, the Biden-appointed D.C. U.S. attorney, Matthew Graves, would not allow the Delaware U.S. attorney to charge Hunter in his district. And he asked for special counsel authority from Maine DOJ at that time, but was denied. Congressman, did Garland commit perjury there? Come I think, close? I, I think we got to find out. Uh, that's very disturbing and contradictory to the, everything that's in these whistleblower transcripts. What, what, what motivation would these whistleblowers, and as you pointed out during the, during, uh, before the show, Democrats used to love whistleblowers, <laughs> right? But what, what motivation would they have to just, what, make all this up? They don't it's so have, much fun? No. I mean, we asked them questions about I anything related. There is no motivation here. In fact, they've been, um, you know, they, the DOJ has gone after them for coming forward on this. The other thing to think about here, in my time as a federal prosecutor at DOJ, no one lets the statute of limitations run out. On these tax charges, they purposely slow walk this, so the statute of the limitations... Five years. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, <laughs> everything... It's every so one of obvious, these, it's almost embarrassing. I mean, it's... I mean, but Hunter was so careless in these messages. He's just a dope, sorry. I mean, he's like proud of myself. I'm sure he's proud of it. But he was so, it was so obvious what was going on in those messages. They were shaking down the Chinese, and the Chinese wanted influence. They weren't looking for his business expertise or his acumen because he has none. But he has the last name Biden, and that's all that China wanted. Again, intentional protection by the DOJ of Hunter Biden because he was President Biden's son. That's the bottom right. line. And if you don't believe Republicans on that, read the transcripts. Everyone on We're going to link them on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Congressman, thank you for being in thank studio you. tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.